Hey everyone, it's uh, Dan Duggan and Keith Sarge from NJ.com. We're at the Rack, where Steve Peichel just wrapped up his introductory press conference. We've done a few of these introductory press conferences the last couple of months. Uh, what did you think about uh, this one? I think he won the press conference. I mean, I think that you're always, I, we've co covered a lot of them. You mentioned Chris Ash a couple months ago. We thought that he won the press conference. Pat Ash did, uh, Pat, Pat Hobbs did. And even really going back, I mean, I, I've been doing Gary Waters and, and, and Fred Hill and Eddie Jordan. They all win the press conference. You know, with, maybe with the exception of Julie Herman. <laughs> might be the only one who, who didn't win the press conference. There's no tape. <laughs> but yeah, I think he said all the right things. I think the big uh, takeaway that I got was he talked a lot about how he always le leaves a program in better shape, which is what he did at UConn. He did at Central Connecticut State. He definitely did it over, over a Stony Brook. So I think if, if that's... Really, the, the goal here is to get Rutgers. You know, it's a rebuilding job. Get him in, in better shape. I think he, he he'll he'll you know try to accomplish that. Yeah, I saw a lot of similarities between Chris Ash really, and, and I think Pat Hobbs even mentioned that they're very similar guys. Uh, they're coming in, understanding this is a long process. It's not going to be a quick fix. They're not trying to do it overnight. They're going to do it the right way. And I thought it was interesting that Pat Hobbs said uh, he was looking for a head coach with head coaching experience because yeah. this is a tough build. You need to have been through it. And Steve Peichel did it. I mean, Stony Brook was a worse situation, really, Without if you want question. to believe it. Yeah. Uh, obviously a different level, but what he built there is certainly something to point to that you can say, this guy can get it done. Now, will he get it done recruiting? Obviously, that remains to be seen, but hey, first day, so we'll say it's off to a good start, right? I mean, we'll be watching. I mean, obviously, first you know month will be key. Does he hire right staff? You know, uh, all those types of things. You know, he, he'll be on the clock from, from this day forward, but I guess a good thing is you know, a couple of his guys are out here working on their game, so I, I guess that's always a good thing. We'll try to get Dan Duggan out over on the court working on his game if, if, if you know, between now and, and Thursday for football spring practice. Yeah, I'm just trying to show these guys a little. Just keep that elbow in, follow through. <laughs> they, look, they look like they're getting it down pretty good.